In this video, we are going to add an SMB share to a Jellyfin server running on Ubuntu. Since we created an SMB share in a previous video, we are going to focus just on the part of adding that share to Jellyfin. Let's go to our VM and enter the console. In case you don't have it already, you need to install sifsutils. Use sudo apt install sifs-utils. I will open the terminal and start by creating the local directory where we will mount the SMB share. In this case, I will create it in slash mn jellyfin data. For that, we will use the mkdir command. You can also do it from the GUI. Now let's create a .smb credentials file with the login information for the SMB folder. Type nano SMB credentials. These credentials are the ones that we created on our TrueNAS server. After that, press Ctrl O to save, enter to confirm, and Ctrl X to exit. Next, let's modify the permissions for this file with read and write for the owner only. In this way, no one else can see the credentials. sudo chmod600.smb credentials. After that, let's modify the slash stab file and include our SMB share so we can mount it later. The TCF stab file systems table file is a system configuration file. It contains information about file systems that the system can mount. It's used to automatically mount file systems at boot time. It tells the system where to mount each file system and with what options. Add this line to the TCF stab file. Let's break down this command so you understand it and can modify it to your case. Slash 192.168.20 slash jellyfin is the source of the shared folder. Slash eminent slash jellyfin data is the mount point, the local directory where the content of the source shared folder will be located. CSEFs is the file system type. Credentials equals slash home slash username slash. SMB credentials specifies the location of the credentials file. UID equals 1000 and GID equals 1000 are the user ID and group ID that will own the mounted files. You can check yours with the ID command in the terminal. Ext systemd.automount is a systemd specific option. It configures the mount to be auto mounted on demand rather than immediately at boot. This can speed up boot times and conserve resources if the share isn't always needed. The first zero means the file system will not be backed up by dump and the second one means the file system will not be checked at boot time by FSCK. After that, press Ctrl O to save, enter to confirm, and Ctrl X to exit. Now, let's issue the sudo mount -a command to apply those changes and tell the system to mount what is in the file. After mounting the share, we should be able to see its content in our local mount point. With that, we are ready to go to Jellyfin and add the media library. Let's go to our Jellyfin dashboard in the browser. Then, navigate to the Administration dashboard, then to Libraries, and then click Add Media Library. Select the content type and display name, and then add a folder. Here is where you will input the mount point we created earlier. Select OK, and you will now see the content from the share listed under your libraries. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more simple tech tips. 
If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video on Bite of Tech.